Hey, how's it going? Today's video, we're talking the do's and don'ts of visiting Minnesota and specifically, not just for tourists, more specifically for folks who are thinking about relocating to the Twin Cities, or maybe doing like a, an introductory visit, a recon trip, if you will, trying to figure out if this is the right place for you and maybe trying to figure out where you wanna end up if it is the right place for you. That's my shop, by the way. What do you say? Let's hit it. How's it going, y'all? My name is Jesse Lynch, and I run the hardest working real estate team in the game. We're called To The Twin Cities, and you can check out our website, tothetwincities.com. But this YouTube channel, it's all about helping you find a place to call home, a place to land here in the beautiful Twin Cities of Minnesota. And that's whether you're buying a house for the first time or relocating here from a different city, state, country, planet, dimension, whatever it is, first time home buyers, relocations, that's what we do. It's what we do better than anybody else. So if any of that appeals to you, do me a favor, do yourself a favor, subscribe to this channel, click the bell to get notified so you can see when we put these videos out. Nobody puts more videos out. Nobody has anything better on the internet about what it's like to live here in the Twin Cities. And if you're interested in working with us, get a hold of us. Nobody will work harder for you than we will. You can go to our website, tothetwincities.com. We have a contact form there that you can fill out in like 30 seconds or less, or you can shoot us an email directly directly to info at to the twin cities.com. All these are the same spot, so totally up to you how you do it. We just ask that you do. What do you say? Should we dive in? I'm excited for this video. The do's and don'ts of visiting the Twin Cities of Minnesota. Let's hit it. If you can hear these wind chimes above me. Ah, but I thought, I thought this would be a good place to talk about don't number one, which is don't make your trip here too stressful. I don't want you to go home to wherever you're from and thinking about how stressful your time was here in Minneapolis. I think one of the best things about the Twin Cities is that there's less friction to do so many things. It's generally easier to live life here than so many other places. And so don't make it too stressful. Make sure that you do on your trip here, your recon trip, you're trying to figure out if you wanna live here, and if so, where do you wanna live? Don't just be a tourist, right? Minneapolis is, as cool as this place is, the Twin Cities is more than, you know, the Spoon and Cherry, it's more than the Walker Art Center, it's more than any of the tourist aspects of the area, and your trip should prioritize those things.
Right now I'm at 27th and Park. Right back here is the Swedish Institute. It's a really great area. Park, Portland, Blaisdell, tons of mansions, and it's a really uh, like classic old area. There's a 2615 Park Avenue right over here. Is uh, what I think is a fairly iconic. It's not talked about that often but it's an absolutely beautiful apartment building. And you've probably noticed most of this, I've been in the city. I've been in the city proper in multiple different areas. And I think this third don't speaks to this a little bit, which is don't trust the news. Don't trust all the negativity on Reddit and Twitter. We have a lot of people who reach out to us who are like, I heard that this place is, you know, a nightmare. And it's just like, well, it's not, you know, if you, if you like what you see in the videos that we make or anything like that, if there are things that you like about it, but somebody, some stranger, you know, some egg on Twitter uh, told you that it was bad, well, check it out, right? Don't just assume that somebody's opinion will be the same as yours. That's something as a realtor, I think I've figured out pretty quickly is that my opinion of a home and of a neighborhood is just my opinion. And it's not necessarily going to be directly uh, in line with what you might think about it. I can do my best to portray it as unbiasedly as possible, but my opinion and your opinion will still likely be different. separate don'ts that basically fit into the same category. The first of which is don't underestimate winter, right? I know I kind of <laughs> talk winter down sometimes, but don't underestimate it. If you're coming in the winter, make sure you have a proper coat, some gloves, maybe a hat, and you'll, you'll have a much better time than if you're absolutely freezing and you're like, well, I can't go outside because I don't have the proper gear. It'll feel like winter is totally unaccessible or at least the outdoors are totally unaccessible during the winter. So don't underestimate winter. And that also goes with driving, right? Don't underestimate how, what it takes to drive in the winter. If you're new to driving in the snow, you certainly can drive in the snow. Just be particularly careful, drive a little slower, brake a little earlier. And then the other side of that same coin is don't forget that it's not all winter here. You can see where I am right now. It's absolutely beautiful. We have so much great weather here. So if you're here in the winter, just don't forget that winter isn't all Minnesota is. We have really lush, vibrant, clean, you know, n warmer seasons as well. And then don't number six, I think this is a pretty easy one. Just don't spend all your time in an area that's outside of your budget. So some of that might require you to have an idea of your budget before you visit, maybe get a pre-approval, maybe just chat with a lender before, uh, or if you're renting, figure out what you can afford. Uh, because you might fall in love with a place that you won't be able to achieve or attain, at which point, what's the point? As I'm driving around, it occurs to me that don't number seven is don't try to do this without a vehicle. Unless your goal is to move to the Twin Cities and not have a vehicle, 
I would say make sure that your vehicle situation is representative of how you'll actually live life once you live here. visiting the Twin Cities. By the way, I'm on the Plymouth Avenue Bridge. North Loop is that way. Northeast Minneapolis is that way. The first do is to research and plan. Don't just wing it. Come out here with a plan of some sort. Obviously, you're watching this video, so you are doing some research, so check. But, you know, keep doing the research. Keep watching this channel. It will be the best resource anywhere at all on the internet in helping you make this move. And as you watch these videos, take some notes, you know? Uh, if you're looking in certain neighborhoods, open the HomeSpotter app, which by the way, there's a link down in the description. It's a free app. It's tied to me, but it technically has to be because it's part of our MLS. It's, a, it's like Zillow, but not wrong all the time. So grab that in the link. As you're watching the videos about different neighborhoods, Look in those neighborhoods, see what homes cost, see you know what certain dollar amounts will get you and that will really help you narrow in on, is this a possibility for me? Okay, that's good for do number one. just wanted to say that is to potentially visit in different seasons if that is possible if that is available to you you said Bob Dylan mural probably seen that I don't know maybe maybe this is the first time you've seen it well then there it's kind of cool but visit in different seasons we have all four seasons they change so much it's spring right now it's amazing it's beautiful it's everything that I love about Minnesota, I guess, except for fall. And then I also really enjoy summer and I actually happen to love winter. So I'd say visit in different seasons. Some people who are particularly nervous about winter should probably visit in the winter. But I'm gonna sort of say a sub, uh, another do is don't think that because right when you get to Minnesota, it feels particularly cold to you, that that's actually how life here will feel. Even getting off a plane from a week-long vacation from somewhere warm to Minnesota is more jarring, <laughs> if that makes sense, than if you were just like living here, right? We have summer, it goes into fall, a little cooler then, goes into winter. It's a slow progression toward winter. And because of that, I think it makes it feel considerably less uh, brutal or less intense, because again, it's a slow progression toward that. But if I could only visit at one time, it would be spring or fall, because it would help you fall in love with the area, which I think a lot of you want to do, and I do think it's in your best interest to do so, because it is awesome here. But if you have the option to visit in different seasons, cool. That's all great.
And the third thing that I want to make sure that you do is know your own vibe, right? A at least a, a variety of the vibe that you think you might like. Some people really are torn between living in a condo downtown or you know, a quiet suburban uh, you know, p patio home or something like that. So know approximately what you're looking for and get out and explore those different options. And like I said at the beginning, you, you're going to want to make sure you do some research. Use this channel to totally just go down the rabbit hole and explore as many of the neighborhoods as you possibly can. We have videos on literally almost every single suburb, every single neighborhood in the Twin Cities. By the way, I'm in Kenwood. These houses are so sick. <laughs> if this is your vibe, this Kenwood is, is a, one of the places you're gonna find it. So explore the area virtually through this channel. And then when you come here, hopefully you have a short list, right? Even if that's 10 places, maybe it's 15, you know, five neighborhoods in the cities, 10 suburbs, or 10 neighborhoods in the cities, five suburbs. And then hopefully by the time you're done with this trip, your short list is even shorter. You can go home and know pretty much exactly where you're hoping you will end up. And next up on your list of things that you absolutely have got to do on your trip is embrace the outdoors regardless of the season. If you come in the spring, summer, fall, awesome. It's beautiful. This is Lake of the Isles, by the way, very close to Kenwood. Uh, and I, I live really close to here. I absolutely love this lake. It is beautiful. But if you can, embrace the outdoors. And if you're here in the winter, there's a bunch of stuff you can try that a lot of people really love to do. You can try ice skating or hockey, of course. <laughs> you can do cross-country skiing, downhill skiing, ice fishing, and downhill skiing. And Afton Alps, I mean, it's not, you know, Aspen, but it'll get the job done. You can uh, build a snow fort, build a snowman, have a snowball fight. Those are all <laughs> classic winter activities, and it's just nice to get outside, make sure you're bundled up, all that. In the summer, obviously, we have so much stuff. We have uh, more parks than just about anywhere, just about any metropolitan area. We are very, very park heavy here in the Twin Cities, and I think some of the most beautiful parks, a number of the most beautiful parks that I've ever been to. And again, I've been all over the country. So take a stroll around a lake like I'm doing right now, hop on a bike, there's bike rentals all over the place, hop on a scooter if you want. Uh, you can take a proper hike too in the Twin Cities and or just outside of the Twin Cities, play frisbee, play golf, all of the outdoor activities we have. So come enjoy the outdoors because it is beautiful here. So when you come to visit, make sure that you make time to enjoy the outdoors and experience all this beauty. And then the fifth thing that you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you definitely do is take in some culture. I think I've had people who come here and they plan a trip around some sort of cultural event that they're into. Maybe it's a concert, maybe it's a sporting event, something like that. But I think it's a really, really great way to, you know, enjoy your time here, but also get to experience life like it will be when you live here, right? you probably won't live in downtown, statistically, right? Most people live outside of downtown, but you will likely go to downtown and you will likely periodically enjoy the cultural events 
of downtown. Right where I'm standing, which is between 8th and 9th on Hennepin, you have the Orpheum Theater, the State Theater, Pantages Theater, First Avenue legendary music venue, Skyway Theater, all sorts of different places to take in a show, to take in some culture, Twin Stadium, Viking Stadium, all super close. And I, I really think that doing at least one thing that is sort of a destination for you will be a very good move. I think this is a pretty a pretty good one. Uh, it's a little bit biased, but I think that you should try to find an Airbnb instead of staying in some downtown hotel. Find yourself an Airbnb in a neighborhood. If you can find one in one of the cities or towns that you want to live in, I think that's even better. It's more immersive. This is an Airbnb that I run. It's called The Place Between the Lakes. This is an Airbnb that I run with my girlfriend called The Place Between the Lakes. Definitely try to stay here if it's at all up your alley. It's in the Cedar Isles Dean neighborhood and I think it's really a great way to immerse yourself in a neighborhood that there are no hotels, right? There are no hotels in this neighborhood. There's only Airbnbs. And so if you can find an Airbnb, support the little guy and be more immersed in a neighborhood, I think that's a win all across the board. And then dude number seven is to connect with some local folks while you're out here if possible. There are things like meetup.com, there's Eventbrite, all sorts of mixers and things that go on all the time. And in fact, every third Wednesday of the month, we as a team put on a get together, a meetup of current, future, past clients um, at different places. Today, we're doing one at 612 Brew. Uh, and it's great. We have this room rented out. Probably actually we'll be hanging out on the patio though because it's so nice. And it's just a great way for people who are new to the area or just, I don't know, want to meet people, can kind of get here, meet people, mix, and very low pressure and all that. And then I think the last thing that everybody who's trying to move to the Twin Cities and buy a home when you get here. Renters, we can't be as helpful, but if you're trying to buy a home when you get here, I would love to recommend that you reach out to us before your recon trip, right? Because we really, really enjoy being able to have a chat with the folks that we are going to eventually help to begin to help them hone in on where will be the right fit for them based on lifestyle choices. And with that, and this very strange shot that I gotta say looks pretty bad, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't. Bye-bye.